Oh man. Uh how far back? Like all the way back? All the way back. Okay. So I'm going all the way back. Mm. So on whenever I was a teenager, my friends and I got together, and this was like 2010s era. So YouTube was still pretty young. And we we got together and we shot a bunch of like sketch like sketches and stuff and joke videos and we would upload them for our friends so that was like that's my oldest connection to youtube i have a youtube channel it's out there you can't find it don't try and find it you can't find it um Darn. but yeah <laughs> good luck everybody <laughs> trying to find that but they're just old stupid sketches of just us messing around and, and uh having fun and then in my like my 20s I started up another YouTube channel with my one of my friends uh, that actually it's a whole nother story, but he's not my friend anymore. We started up a YouTube channel together and it was like a movie review channel where we would we worked at a movie uh, movie theater at the time. So we had free access to watch every movie every time they came out. So we we're like, hey, let's just make a channel and review them. So we did that for about a year and then things splitted because i was uh we split because i was doing a lot of the work um so that kind of went away and at that time i'd got a new job and uh we i moved away so that kind of went went away for about a year or two but in between i was still kind of editing videos and doing stuff like that just kind of on my own and louder with crowder came up and they were i was watching their their shows and kind of getting into politics because before that before like 2016 era mm. it was like i hate politics i don't want to i don't care about it i wish it wasn't in everything but then i just kind of noticed so much stuff going wrong mm -hmm. i was like ah i guess i gotta care about this so i was watching kind of like all of the i i think i got into youtube politics like at the tail end of gamergate and at the beginning of comics gate so it's like gamergate comics gate and the like the whole political sphere and i was watching loud with crowder and all kinds of like i was watching sargon back in the day and he just on his on the mug club side just said hey we're looking for a uh, an editor a producer somebody that can put stuff together and help us out and i was like hey i think i could do that so i applied and i happened to be within like 40 minutes of their studio. So I That's think that convenient. Helped me out. it was really, that was a blessing because I don't, I think otherwise I wouldn't have gotten it because I, I just didn't have any credentials. I was mm -hmm. like, I think I, I was in regular retail and corporate for like 10 years. So that's, I, that's my, my whole resume was that it wasn't any entertainment or editing or nothing, but they were like, all right, come in because you're so close, like you can come in and just work like a week or something and do like a test internship. I went in and uh, do you want, you want to know the whole story? The whole thing. Let's hear okay. it. <laughs> so I went in and went for just like a week and I had a full-time job. I had like three kids. at the No, I had two kids at the time, full-time job. And I was like, all right, I'm going to get up, crack a dawn, go to this, go to this internship. Who knows what's going to happen? Let's just do that. And then right after that, drive to my my current job. And I did that for a week. And they they didn't call me back until I think I went in in like July. Then they called me back in November and said, hey, we're doing this big production. I think that was when they did the YouTube Christmas Carol. It was like a parody mm -hmm. on the Christmas Carol with Steven. And they were like, hey, we need some help. Could you come in and do some stuff? So I came in. I worked for like three months doing doing the whole like get up at eight in the morning, drive there, work all day, drive over to my job, work all day till like two in the morning, get off, go back at like eight in the morning, do it Dang. again. I did it like back to back. I had no days off for two months straight. Did you sleep crazy. ever? What'd you do? No, like how did how? I just hit the hay when I got home. Um, but my wife, my wife is so supportive because she knew that that was kind of what I wanted to do. 
and she was helping me out a whole lot through all that and she's been so supportive through the whole thing because it's kind of a crazy kind of a really i don't know it's not stable <laughs> you know the, the youtube gig mm -hmm. it can be ups and downs right but she like she's been behind me the whole time telling me hey because <laughs> she knows she's like she knows whenever i'm not i don't like a job so she's like if you don't like a job go like leave don't stay don't stay there because you're like obligated to i mean i was obligated to so i did stay at those bad jobs but she was always quit go somewhere else that you enjoy so she's always been behind me uh so i did those two months and at the, after that they uh, was i think it was jared not gay jared he was uh he got me off to a, to a office and was like hey do you want to work here full time i was like uh Yes. <laughs> I don't know if you could tell, but yeah. So yeah, he, they hired me there and then and rest is history. Um, I'll, we did a bunch of sketches. I did a lot of stuff like behind the scenes, not on camera. Mm -hmm. Some sketches, I kind of worked my way up into sketches because I, I like to do that too. And they were like, hey, we need somebody to do a couple lines. And I went in there and did it. And they were like, oh, you could do that. I didn't know that. Okay. That's and awesome. Then I, yeah and then they asked me to like build some prop or something they were like hey we need something made so i made it and that was already something that i was into like just on my own and they were like dang you didn't even tell us that you could do this but i was like i don't know if you guys need it's like a jack of all weird... trades yeah i guess so i just like built up all these weird trade like little skills that don't really make sense but somehow thank god they all made sense in the job that i that i got are you also like a part-time plumber? No, I wish. I'm like, like. I mean, I guess so. <laughs> just by just because life makes me that. If you don't know out there, I had plumbing issues with my house. So <laughs> now they know. <laughs> out out in the out in the the driveway, just snaking a line doesn't help. I had to call in the big wigs, the real guys. 